Now, draw a curve in the middle of the stick, like in the video. Then draw a small oval around the curve. You should not draw the right hand side of the curve where the stick is because the curve would be behind the stick at this point. Now draw a small 1 or 2 millimeter horizontal line at the bottom of the oval and one at the top. Next draw a curve that mirrors the left hand side of the oval. Now find the middle of the top surface by drawing an X in the same way you did on the side. Now draw a small curve, one or two millimeters wide, in the middle of the X. On the right hand side of the curve, draw a vertical line going up. Now draw another vertical line on the other side of the curve. Line up the ruler with the first vertical line you have just drawn, and then draw a small one or two millimeter line in the position shown in the video. This should look like the stick is going through a hole in the middle of the frame. Repeat this for the other vertical line. Next, draw a small curve to join the two small lines up. Now draw a thin oval like the one shown in the video. Like before, you do not need to draw the back of the oval where the stick is because the stick would be in the way of the oval. Next, draw a one or two millimeter vertical line on the left hand side of the oval and then again on the right. Now draw a curve that mirrors the bottom half of the oval from one side of the line you have just drawn to the other. Use a rubber to rub out the small line that runs through the two vertical lines drawn in the previous stage. This is because the small line would not be seen because the stick would be in front. Also rub out a bit of the height to give you room for the design to go on top. Now draw your design starting from the top of the stick. The design should be at least the same height as the frame but usually a bit taller. Next place the ruler at the bottom of your design horizontally on the page. Rest the set square on the ruler and then slide the set square along the ruler until it touches the first part of the design. Now, draw a small line, one or two millimeters, along the set square in the same way that is shown in the video. Now move the ruler up with the set square still resting on it carefully, making sure the ruler remains horizontal. Draw lines in the same where you did before along the set square anywhere the design curves or turns a corner. Look carefully at the video to help you work out where to draw the 45 degree lines. When you have drawn at least two 45 degree lines, mirror the front design shape back between the two lines. Repeat this method until the design looks like it has a thickness. If the front shape is in, is in the way of the back mirrored shape, stop, because the front shape takes priority over the back lines. An example of this is when I have drawn the back line near the right hand arm. Do not draw over the front design when drawing the thickness.